Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you are doing well. This is mathematics, and in this video, we want to look at this question here on the board. Coming from 2019 General Certificate of Education, GCE, Paper 1, Question 9B. The question reads, solve the equation 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 is equal to 0. We are doing what? Solving. Solving what? The equation. This is what identifies the question to be equation, for as long as it has got equal sign. Now remember we have different types of equations. We have exponential equations, we have trigonometric equations, we have linear equations, and so many. Now, what type of equation is this? The moment you identify the type, you will be able to remember what you are supposed to do. A type of equation that has got three terms, one, two, three, and the highest power or degree is a square. What type of equation is that? Could it be cubic equation? No. This is what we call quadratic equation. What have I said? Quadratic equation. So this is a quadratic equation. The general formula or the general form of any quadratic equation should be in this format. AX squared plus BX plus C is equal to zero. So all quadratic equations must be in this form where A is the coefficient of X squared B is the coefficient of x and c is a constant equated to zero. It is not always that in an exam test the teacher will give you this quadratic equation in this form. No, it's not always that it will come in this form. Which tell is this? Sometimes they may twist it. So if they twist it the first step that you're going to take is to rearrange, play around with that question or equation until it is in this format. That's when you start solving. The question I've given you here, it is already in the format. So we are going to proceed. So you copy the question the way it is, 2x squared plus 5x minus 3 is equal to 0. We have three ways, three methods of solving quadratic equations. What are these three methods? One, you can solve a quadratic equation by factorization. Number two, you can solve a quadratic equation by using the formula which is called the quadratic formula. And the third one is by completing the square. Three ways. Now this equation, this quadratic equation was given in paper one. It means, because in paper one you will not be allowed to use the calculator. It means the equation can be solved by factorization. Remember, we have similar equations in paper 2, whereby those equations that come in paper 2 cannot be factorized. As a result, you have no option but to use the quadratic formula, which I will be able to show you later. So in this video, we are going to use factorization. How do you identify that the equation can be factorized? Well, for the equation to be factorized, it should have the sum and the product. It should have these two. Okay? And of course, 
factors must be there. What is the sum? The sum is the coefficient of x, which is in this case 5. What is the product? Product you multiply the coefficient of x squared and the constant. Multiply them. That is your product. So in this form, in this uh, format here, we have 2 multiplied by negative 3. There's a negative here. So 2 multiplied by the negative 3 here, 2 times negative 3, we are going to get negative 6. So negative 6. That is the product. For the 2, you are now going to look for two numbers, two factors. The two factors must be identified in this way, in this manner. You have to look for two numbers. When you add, sum is to add. When you add them, they should give you 5. The same two numbers, when you multiply them, they should give you negative 6. What are the two numbers? They can be the same or they can be different, provided they are two. And they should meet this condition. What are the two numbers? How do you identify? Well, you should always be getting the two numbers from the product. In this case, the product that we have is negative 6. So, we are just going to say 6. Let's list down the factors of 6. What are the factors of 6? 1. And what I mean by factors, numbers that can go into 6 without the remainder. So 1, we have 2, we have 3, we have 6. So these are factors of 6. So the two numbers that we are looking for should come from here. That is the way we identify. So always get the two numbers that we are looking for from the product. If it's negative, just say, um, just get a positive part. So now, what two numbers are we going to get here? Only two. When I add them, they should give me six, uh, five. When I multiply, I should get negative six. You can agree with me that these will be two numbers. One and six. Except that one should be negative for reach to qualify this condition. Now, which one should be negative here? Since this sum is positive, then the smaller number here should be negative. So negative one and six. You can now try and see if you are correct. Negative one plus six, I'll get five. That's the same as saying six minus one, I'll get five. Negative one times six, I'll get negative 6. Of course, others would say even 2 and 3 can qualify. Are you sure? These two cannot qualify. Let's try. 2 and 3. Yes, when I multiply them, or when I add 2 plus 3, I'm going to get 5. Yes. But when I multiply 2 times 5, Am I going to get negative 6? No. I can change. Let me put a negative here. Negative 2 times 3. Yes, I'll get negative 6. But what, what about if I add them? Negative 2 plus 3. Is it 5? No. Let me change. Put a negative here. 2 times negative 3. Yes, it's negative 6. What about when I add 2 plus negative 3? Am I going to get 5? No. So you can see that the only two numbers are these. Huh? Now that you have identified the two numbers, what next? You are now going to substitute them where they Z, X. So here, that is where we substitute the two numbers. I hope we, you are following me. So at this point, this is where we identify to say, oh, the equation here can be factorized since it has got these two numbers. But those given in paper two, you find that 
you will never find these two numbers. So if you can't find them, then they are saying you use the quadratic formula or completing the square. In this case, it has got two numbers, therefore we are going to factorize. Let's proceed. So we are substituting now here. We remove this, replace with these two. So we get this first term to x squared. So here now we have negative 1. So this negative 1, remember where we are substituting this x. And I should also mention that it is not always x, x, x. Any variable can be used. Please. We're not saying all oh, the question that you'll be receiving is x, x, x. It can be y, it can be r, it can be s, any variable can be used. So here we are saying negative 1. Since where we are substituting this x, so these will have x. So now we cannot write negative 1 x. That does not exist. It is only negative x. You can't say negative 1 x. That is repetition in mathematics. So you just say negative x. So here negative x. This is positive 6x. So you write positive 6x. We have substituted here. The last part is negative 3 equals 0. Now there are four terms. Group them. 2 by 2. So this and this. What next? Factorize. What is common here? X. X into 2x squared. We are going to remain with a 2 and x since there are 2. So there will be 1x that will remain. Minus x into x is 1. Close. Plus what is common this side? The numbers is 3. That is the only thing that is common. 3 into 2x. I'll remain. I mean no, 3 into 6x. I'll remain with 2x. Minus. 3 into 3 is 1. Is equal to 0. Are you following? Now let's check what we have inside the brackets. Are they the same? Check. Are they the same? Yes. If they are the same, then you are moving in the right direction. But if you find that you have different factors here, you have made a mistake. Go back. Here it should be the same. Always the same. Now since they are the same, you just pick one. So you go pick one. 2x minus 1. You are also going to open another bracket for those that are outside. So we have x here plus 3. Equate to 0. At that point, what next? You are going to say either... You pick one, equate to zero, another one, equate to zero. So either this one here, 2x minus one, is equal to zero, or the other one here, x plus three, is equal to zero. Then we are going to solve these two linear equations. We pick the first one here, 2x minus one is equal to zero, on the left hand side, we want to remain with the variable or the term that has got x. In this form is 2x. It's equal to 0. What will happen to the negative 1? It becomes positive 1 when it crosses the equal sign. So here we're going to say 2x is equal to 1. To remain with x, divide both sides by 2. So we are going to say x is equal to 1 over 2. This is the first value of x. The other one is here. x plus 3 is equal to 0. To remain with x, the positive 3 will cross the equal sign and it will become negative. So x will be negative 3. This is the second value of x. This is the way we solve quadratic equations by factorization. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've gotten the concept. 
in a case whereby you want to use the quadratic formula. I hope you still remember the quadratic formula. This is the quadratic formula. X is equal to negative B, positive negative, square root, B squared minus 4AC, everything from here, like this to A, where A is the coefficient of x squared, B is the coefficient of x, C is the constant. So you try, try this question here using the quadratic formula. You are going to find the same answers. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for supporting me. Continue following me on Facebook. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Introductory Learning, or Evans Kalunga. Also, follow me on TikTok. Those are the platforms that I'm currently using. Please, if you want to learn more in mathematics, English, biology, science, and additional mathematics, you can still contact me. We have online classes that are going on in readiness for your exam at a very affordable fee. I appreciate for your time. Thank you very much.